My name's Peter Gorman. I'm an Irish kid from Queens, New York. I was born in 51. How long can I hold on? Where my Tree frog from Peru. This is Peter Gorman's field work. He seems to know more about this than anybody else. He did a lot of breakthrough things uh, about making cannabis uh, more uh, well known in uh, the mainstream. It's actually a fairly small frog that fits in the palm of your hand. When it's frightened, it secretes a solution, a very thick solution, a defense mechanism that can freeze a snake instantly before the snake has a chance to close its mouth on the animal. Oh my gosh, the animal is gorgeous. Someday you We went to visit Peter Gorman, you know him? He, he no. was editor of High Times Magazine oh, in okay. the 70s. Cool. First person to write about ayahuasca in the Western press. He looked to me like a New York Irish street brawler. It just seemed like what I was looking for. And it just, uh, it worked out. <laughs> we ended up going on a trip with him uh, to Peru. It's getting hard to resist it. I want you. I want you. The Matzes are the only indigenous group in all of Peru that has land, water, air, and mineral rights, which means no one can come in and extract anything from their territory without the Matzes' approval. Ayahuasca is a brew that's been used throughout Amazonia for as long as we know. There's no written language here. There's no record of it beyond when the conquistadors first arrived and saw its use. The vine itself is called ayahuasca, and the Latin name is Banisteriopsis capi. I feel immensely blessed to have been here to take this course with Peter. He's a wealth of knowledge. In ceremony, I was shown a life I could have if I just believed in myself. And I had not felt like that five days ago. <laughs> it is, for many people, the holy grail of enlightenment. They think, no, it's just one of our medicines.